What's up guys? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you all are doing great. I am Yo-Yo Y2K back again finally with another Ark Survival Evolved building tutorial. My computer issues have continued. I've had blue screens of death. I've had to reinstall Windows, etc, etc. The list goes on, but we are finally back in Ark and I have a build that I hope you guys enjoy. We're working with a plesiosaur saddle today. Actually, we are going to build a mobile base on the back of a plesiosaur. It's pretty cool, pretty quick. Hope that you guys enjoy the build. We will take a quick tour around just so you can see what it looks like before we put this together. If you do want to build this in your own worlds, I will have a list of structures down in the description. So just take a look down there. You will see how many walls we need, how many foundations, etc, etc. But that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot going on. It's a pretty small base, but it's relatively functional and would suffice to, you know, provide a decent base for some mobile kind of exploration. So let's go ahead, jump over to the other plesiosaur, our blank slate, and get started working on this platform. So the first thing to do is put down a pillar. The pillar is temporary. It just gives us snap point for the foundations. So what I'm going to look for is the line here that runs down the platform lengthways and we will put the pillar on this line and I'm going to sneak it just over a little bit but I think if we go and put it say right here on this line just over a little bit about like so see how it's just ever so slightly across this vertical line but it's in line with this horizontal line that should give us the snap points we need whenever we put down the other pillar and get the foundations lowered. So what I mean by lowering foundations, if I put this half a block away or half a step away, you can see how it's slightly lower than the previous uh, pillar. I'll pick that up, put another one down, pick this up, put one more down and it is lower still. And then if I pick this up, now the foundations are super low in the found or super low in the platform. And if I go ahead and run these along run these along the length of the platform, they line up pretty well. And we've got just a little bit of overhang on the back and that's fine. Well, I mean, there's a little more there's a little more overhang on the back than the front. That's fine. We're going to have the ramps off the back to allow you know, easily getting up onto the back of the, uh, the plesiosaur if you say you're not piloting and you want to jump onto the platform, those ramps allow you to do that. So we have those in place. We can get rid of this pillar now. If we were, if we were working fast enough, we would have been able to pick that up, but I was kind of stalling. So we didn't get fast, didn't get, I'm sorry, I cannot talk today, guys. Anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Let's go ahead and just outline this structure or outline this platform with foundations. You can use whatever foundations you want. I'm sticking with the stone foundations, the stone foundations for this build. My goodness, I really cannot talk today. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is start building our actual structure. So I'll need to put some, I actually already have it, some um, the greenhouse glass walls on my hotbar. So I'm gonna start with a greenhouse glass wall up front right here. So whenever we are looking out in first person, we're like, oh yeah, look at that view. Oh, that's nice. So let's go ahead, hop back off and put another glass wall on the inside foundation. So it's sometimes a little difficult. Oh my gosh. Sometimes you're like yo-yo and can't place anything correctly. And there. So we have those on the inside foundation almost centered in with the saddle not quite almost close enough um if we work quickly we can if i put this down we can go ahead put another one here and another one there again pick this foundation up those stay behind like so we can grab some sloped greenhouse walls we need one each of the left and right Put those on the hot bar, put a left up, put a right up, and then grab, do I have, 
Yes, number seven. The greenhouse sloped ceiling goes right there. And again, we can still see out if we are in first person view. Something that I like to keep in mind when I build these platforms. I like to be able to, if I want to be in first person, I can still view out the front of the dyno. It's not like obstructing my view. So I'll go ahead and build the greenhouse glass up two walls high. So next we will put some ceilings all the way back until we are right here. That shouldn't give us any issues if it does. You know what? Let's pick these up real quick. Just in case they give us issues. This one shouldn't, but that back one might. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our door frame. And I'm gonna put it on the back foundation. So this one right here, again, like so. Grab our walls, which I put in what spot? Number two. Put a wall, oh my goodness, yo-yo. There. So we're just building back two walls, putting another wall here as well. And it flipped on me at the last second. Let's pick it up, put him back in. We need another door frame here, but I will need to put down a foundation first. So let's grab our foundations again, put one down, grab the door frame, get it in spot, then pick this foundation back up. So the reason I don't have foundations going down the middle is just to give us more structures to build with once we get the main structure finished. So it'll allow us to have more crafting stations, more storage, etc. cetera. Um, five and six. So we will need sloping toward the center, our stone sloped walls. And then same thing on the back as I poop inside here. I am so disgusting. I apologize. Yep, right there. Floating in midair. That's... Wow. <laughs> and one more of the greenhouse ceilings just to complete this line. And then these walls, you or these ceilings, excuse me, you can use whatever you want. I have greenhouse over there. When I was testing this out, I used the... Adobe sloped ceilings and they look pretty nice. Where are they? So if you wanted to use the Adobe, they do look pretty nice. Let's go ahead and zoom out. The Adobe looks pretty nice. I'm going to stick with what I did over there and use all greenhouse glass. So let's go ahead and pick these up. I may have waited too long on this one. I'll have to demolish it. But let's go with the number seven. Yeah, number seven. Just a couple of these greenhouse sloped ceilings on either side gives you lots of viewing angles so even if you are down under the water you can look up and see what is on the surface last thing to do guys is to put in railings and doors it's a really quick build there's there's not much to it you should be able to build this relatively easily and if you want to fit more base type structures on the build you could, you know, not put in railings. You could not put in doors. There's lots of ways you can save on structures because there is a structure limit. When I looked it up on the ARC wiki, it says the structure limit is 50. I counted it up. This is actually, uh, what is it? It's 57 structures on this. So I don't think the wiki is correct or I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but there's 57 total. I just reinstalled Arc, so I don't think it's anything with my settings. I don't even have any of the mods installed yet, so there's no mods at all on this. So the last thing we're going to do is put in a couple ramps. See, so yeah, I don't even have any mods installed currently because I literally just reinstalled Arc a couple days ago and... I'm running just the base arc with nothing fancy going on. And you know what? I've been jabbering, blabbering, and we're done. <laughs> Look at that. Just like that, we are finished with the build. It did not take us very long. It's pretty simple to build, guys. You, you, you should have enough space on here to fit a handful of base structures. 
Obviously, like I said a minute ago, if you wanted more things on the platform, you could, you know, get rid of railings, you get rid of doors. You don't have to have the ramps if you don't want. Lots of ways you can save on your structure limit. But just, just real quick, that's the build. Let's go ahead, park it up, get out, take a look off the back. These, these do work pretty well. So if you're swimming along and you're coming up to the back of the platform, ta-da, I am back on the platform. So if someone is piloting the plesiosaur, they don't have to get off for you to be able to get back on top of the platform. So anyway, guys, that is the build. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Let me know if you intend to build this in your own worlds. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And hopefully I will see you all again in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.